Hello, hi everyone. So uh, it's a weekend, and uh, maybe some time to give yourself, maybe to understand more about the market, and uh, it will help uh, you to choose the career. Okay. So uh, anyone like uh, we have this SAP live session. The motive of this session is to understand like what is SAP. Uh, then who can learn SAP and uh, what are the opportunities in uh, SAP okay so uh, SAP is a ERP and I don't know uh, how many of the people like uh, who are on the session have uh, are knowing about SAP okay or uh, SAP as a career so basically the, the the main motive is like when i started uh, for sap uh, so i was really not aware uh, uh, what is sap and all of the things so it took a lot of efforts to uh, gather the information like what is sap and then uh, it happened like i chose to uh, chose as a career okay so i just want you to not uh, go around and uh, uh, like you will need much time and resources to find out what is sap okay and uh, the career opportunities also who can uh, uh, like if you can go into sap you can uh, like choose as a career okay so the first important thing uh, there will be live sessions and also some of the uh, like videos I'll be uploading in coming time. So I want you to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Why? Because it will notify you uh, every time. Okay. If you uh, if you are not in my contact list and uh, so how will you get it? Okay. So YouTube will help you in that. Okay so <clears throat> uh, we'll start uh, with the session okay so basically uh, what is sap okay so sap is a software okay uh, it's a erp software uh, and it stands uh, for system application and uh, products in data processing okay so this is a erp now what is erp we will come uh, on that but it is a leading enterprise resource planning software solution used by organizations worldwide to manage their business operations and customer relations okay so uh, when I'll, i if you go with the market analysis for sap so you will understand or market share uh, for SAP then you will understand uh, it is the leading ERP uh, in the world okay so if you go uh, any company maybe I've seen in India any company which goes uh, which have a revenue or turnover more than uh, I guess 150 crores so 150 uh, crores per year so they uh, go for like from that range they are uh, they will go for SAP because SAP is really a best software or ERP which has I would say like minimum or no uh, loopholes into it okay so uh, it gives the proper accountability and proper picture and no one can the main reason is no one can do frauds into this okay so uh, that is the main reason why people are going for SAP and also it is easy to use okay minimum transactions now what is transaction that will come on to that okay so sap was found in 1972 basically uh, by uh, five former uh, ibm employees okay now sap is designed in such a way so they have uh, different modules modules i would say you can refer to a area okay uh, area of operations i would say so now uh, here are the core modules like anyone who is buying sap or who is installing sap or who is having a business okay the basic things what they are doing is the first is they will purchase something okay the second is they will sell something these are the basic things okay so if these things are there then we will call it as a business otherwise if you are just purchasing then you are an end user or you are a consumer okay and now purchase and sales okay in between uh, i would see it, uh, top of this what things will come is the finance 
okay uh, any item at what rate you bought it and at uh, what rate you are selling it and what is your profit okay and then other things come into picture like uh, taxation and all of the things so these things are handled in uh, fi uh, finance and controlling okay so basically the very basic modules uh, which are implemented or uh, which are there in all of the companies is uh, fico uh, in that finance i would say uh, primarily then we have mm mm is materials management so material management handles actually the procurement and the inventory management without within the company okay so it can be a service based company or it can be a, a product based company okay then we have sales obviously we are buying something then we will sell sell a particular item maybe a service or material and then the production planning production planning uh, actually it ha it handles the whole procurement of uh, uh, any of the items uh, in service based we don't have this thing and then we have uh, this uh, hcm we call it as like hr you can say human resource uh, uh, human capital management and uh, one of the module is abap so majorly uh, the sap is divided or things are divided into two parts one is functional and one is technical okay so we will come on to that while we go through the module part uh, then we have like what are the the basic thing what uh, strikes to our mind is like what are the uh, what are my competitors in the market because when you choose a career you first have to see who are the compet whatever technology you select you have to see who are the competitors and what is the market share within that because going forward it may happen like um, uh, there is less opportunity in what you have chosen okay so uh, to uh, not go in that way we have to uh, we have to cho choose something which is having the uh, major market share okay so sap is one of the erps which is having the major market share in uh, the whole world okay uh, now uh, uh, i have been into sap for almost 8 years i have uh, worked in uh, india africa uh, then uh, uh, gulf countries so i have seen people uh, are shifting for from any of the softwares if they have oracle or microsoft they will shift to sap uh, later on okay so this is the best thing so uh, just in between to introduce myself my name is rishikesh uh, kavle so i am into uh, i am working into sap for last 8 years uh, i am into sap mm wm module and also ssc uh, which is sap analytics cloud okay uh, that's it we'll move forward okay so what is erp basically sap is a erp so if you understand erp is a broader like uh, it's a global term and uh, within that we have multiple softwares so sap is one of the software microsoft Dy dynamics is one of the oracle is one of the software okay so erp is something which handles uh, the supply chain manufacturing then uh, we have sales then uh, human resource finances all of these things okay so basically you have to understand in such a way like you can take any of the manufacturing companies okay maybe uh, car manufacturing or car would be the best example because it is uh, you know it uh, better so what we do is we buy uh, the parts okay from the vendors suppose we bought tires we bought steering uh we bought uh, seats and all of these things so we are buying from some some vendor who are providing this particular side particular item we means uh, consider as tata motors tata motors is buying these things so what they are doing in house uh they will bring all of the items then they will manufacture their own engine okay uh and they will manufacture their chassis and all of the things they will buy the cables and everything suppose from china i would say and they will procure it and few things they will manufacture within the company 
okay so once the procurement is done uh, then in the manufacturing line it will be like there will be a chassis they will be fitting uh, the engine into that then whatever electrical things they have bought they will uh, put into that tires seats and everything they will assemble it okay with the items they what they have bought from outside and what they have manufactured inside and then so procurement then manufacturing and then sales so they will be selling it outside now this is uh, a picture of manufacturing side now uh, with this like wh what i explained there will be a finance factor okay the module we we would say then uh, there will be hcm like people are working so we have to pay them we have to their to do their payroll and all of these things so they will be having the uh, uh, hcm module human resource uh, module human capital then again uh, with this when the cars are ready we have to keep it somewhere so that is a warehouse so in warehouse we have two modules one is uh, wm warehouse management and the other is ewm extended warehouse management okay so now people are more moving to ewm so these are like four five modules what i have told you apart from this now just now uh, sap like before few years uh, sap has started working on the uh, like uh, analytical part or uh, i would say like uh, internet of things and big data analytics and all of these things uh, then ai part okay they are also working on ai now they have a different module which uh, we can say sac okay sac is a module which gives you uh, proper dashboards uh, it will give you a proper proper picture of uh, what are your profits uh, all of the analytical stuff within the company okay it is uh, more of a reporting tool so these are the things when you club all of the things then we can call it as a erp okay so erp can have multiple modules into that and some local erps when you go into the market they will have few things into that maybe uh, just the procurement and sales side uh, like this something okay so uh, i think you have got like what is uh, sap okay then uh, uh, procure to pay so i've just taken an example like uh, in uh, what how the things work now uh, if, if you see about mm module okay so in mm module what do you have is like uh, in any of the companies there will be a requirement okay suppose i want to buy buy oil or grease or something like this in the company so th they will generate a requirement in the system so usually we call in sap it is purchase requisition uh, or globally so after this uh, when the purchase requisition any user will initiate then it will go to the purchase department so purchase de department will go and search for the product outside okay and what they will uh, uh, source like vendors they will search for the vendors outside so they will see if uh, they have if uh, they will float a requirement like we need these things so please give us uh, the price then uh, what are the timelines when you will provide it and all of the things so multiple parameters maybe taxation uh, then delivery charges and all of these things so <clears throat> once this is float the vendors in the market will provide the uh, quotations so the, uh, there uh, after they provide the quotations we will uh, go for the best one uh, by looking uh, all the parameters uh, for price uh, delivery and timeline and everything so that is source determination then uh, so source determination and vendor selection then once that is done the po will be created for that particular vendor so po is basically a legal document uh, which is given to any of the vendors and once you give the po with multiple terms and conditions then the you have to buy it from them okay um, <clears throat> then order monitoring like what are the timelines where are they giving in the right time and all of these things and then goods received when you will receive the material okay so uh, you have a factory or you have a company so uh, uh, the supplier is uh, sending the material by truck so 
when you receive the material inside your gate okay so that uh, and while receiving it you will do a transaction we call it as goods received we are re receiving the goods so once that is done so that material is your liability uh, from that movement so that is your material now you are responsible for that or you will be it will be yours then after this there will be some payment term and you have to pay the vendor okay so you will uh, pay the vendor that's it so this is a whole cycle uh, it's just one part like procurement part of mm so we have multiple things into mm inventory management is one of the thing then procurement is done by multiple ways uh, subcontracting domestic import consignment uh, then service procurement asset procurement all of these things and then again sto is one of the parts so all of these things are covered suppose in one module which is mm so every module will have different areas uh, to work into that okay fine so <clears throat> so basically now when we are talking about sap i would like to give you uh, a picture or a view in like how sap looks okay what is the look and feel of sap so basically you can see at the left side where you have sap gui user interface so this interface is uh, a gui like you have to uh, install a software in your laptop and then you will be able to uh, access it with the credentials uh, for this particular thing and once that is done uh, uh, you, with the id password you will go inside and this will be your screen so you will be entering multiple transactions into that what is transaction is something like uh, sap uh, has given like me 21n it is purchase order so when you want to create a purchase order you have to enter it that <clears throat> enter me 21 and, and click on enter so you will get you will get that screen and then you have to fill all of the data into that so this is one of the way uh, then you can add it to favorites just go <clears throat> and just double click you don't need to uh, mug up the things or transactions okay so there are multiple things into that if you go to the uh, if you go in the youtube channel uh, what uh, uh, in my youtube channel you will be able to see all of the videos i have almost more than 120 sap mm videos and apart from that uh, multiple module videos so <clears throat> what you see at the right is something sap has launched uh, maybe by uh, 2015 uh, and uh, they are uh, uh, like every year they are uh, uh, going more into that which is called sap fury okay so it is a web based uh, application or platform i would say so in gui you have to install uh, a, uh, a software of 1 gb or 1200 mb and then you will be able to access the sap but here in fury it is just a link you have to click on it and it will open in your browser okay and the look and feel is very different like the ui is very different so they have given a tile like these small squares we call it as a tile okay so <clears throat> there will be tiles for like purchase order so when you click on it a purchase order screen will open so uh, i think for 70 to 80 percent of transactions what do you see in gui and what do you see in fury uh, the ui is very different like when you see a me21 screen in gui it is different in fury it is very different okay so basically they want to enhance their gui uh, enhance their ui okay user interface now uh, there are two things like whenever we want to do some configurations as a consultant okay so user has to use gui uh, and whenever an end user is using something he has to go, go on fury it is not a compulsion end user can use gui and fury both but for consultants you have to go in gui okay so maybe you have got a good uh, look and feel of this thing now sap modules like i've given you an overview of fico mmsd uh, hcm uh, and then abap i told you all of these things but there are multiple modules okay so this list i got uh, from uh, somewhere from internet 
so when you go inside and look into uh, things so you will understand there are n number of modules like here i have 60 but i think it is more than 60 so now the question is like okay there are so many modules what should i do which module should i go for okay so this basically depends on your domain okay so uh, there are two things like functional and technical so uh, first i will explain you the functional part so in functional fy co sd mm uh, pp uh, like production planning quality management plant maintenance these are all functional modules M more modules into this i can't read all of the modules but uh, there are multiple uh, functional modules so what is function module is you should know the business process okay like i explained you procure to pay just now so in that you should know what is purchase requisition what is purchase order what is rfq which is request for quotation what is grn or what is goods received invoice all of these things how does this work when do we raise all of these things or when do we do this transaction not in sap in general business practice okay so this we call it a, we, we will say you should have a domain knowledge okay so when you know these things so sap is just a tool to handle all of these things so uh, learning sap is good but you should have some background regarding all of these uh, domain things or business process now uh, how can you get the business process knowledge is like people who have worked in industries for multiple years in manufacturing service and all of the things they are using sap as an end user okay so we will come on to this like end user is also one one of the user who actually uses like i am a uh, suppose there is a team of uh, a procurement team so what procurement team will do they will not raise a requisition they will only do the purchase order and rfqs rfq and purchase order that's it so they have a limited access so that is called a end user which is actually procure me procuring something for the company or uh, the line manager who is actually manufacturing something so you will be entering the things into the system like this so uh, now these are functional things like fi uh, you should have the finance knowledge what are assets how to uh, depreciate the assets or what is invoice what is tax taxation all of these things so when you know these things so you can implement that in sap now to understand like the people who have experience they know it now there are many people who are fresher okay suppose you have done your bcom or mcom that's it or uh, you have done your engineering in mechanical or uh, computer science and all of these things so uh, people ha don't have knowledge fresher people don't have knowledge so in that case the experienced guys like i have eight year experience into this so i have worked on uh, four end to end implementation so i have a good knowledge into this so i can give you the insight of what is the procurement process or what is the domain what is the business process how does that work then we can uh, check into sap how to do that in sap okay all of these things now technical part technical is a bap uh majorly what we look at then the fury is one of the tech uh, fury ui5 consultants are like, it's a booming uh, in market now so they what these guys are doing is like if suppose just an example if i want a report every company want they have a, they have their own different reporting styles okay so they need their own reports into sap so what they will do they will ask uh, the functional consultant that while implementation we want this report in this format so now the whole data is there in the database so functional guy will uh, prepare like from where and what the data is to be fetched and the details will be given to the functional consultant so these function uh, sorry the technical consultant so technical consultant will code in system okay about uh, is the language in which they code so they will code in um, sap and then they will prepare a report 
and we will demo it and uh, uh, ultimately the customer will be using that okay so apart from this fury like uh, we went through both the interfaces now abap majorly works into was working into uh, gui okay now abap is also there in fury but fury uh, consultant like uh, from 2015 uh, fury consultant are getting into the market uh, like demand is increasing and still it is at the peak the demand is at the peak so uh, these consultants they develop the fury applications like tiles then some reports some transactions something like uh, in the system uh, so uh, they can do it in multiple ways okay so these are two different things so now sap uh, sap versions like uh, sap was there in it is there in market in from 1970s so they have evolved with the business process uh, in the software now what they have done is from 2014 15 somewhere this time they they have launched the fury version uh, sort sorry s4 hana so s4 hana is also having fury like it is uh, fury so uh, from 2014 to till date they have released multiple versions okay so every version is giving us more applications or more uh, transactions into fury okay and it is uh, becoming more user friendly to use so now the coming era will be uh, with sap will be for fury so uh, <clears throat> we have to understand that it is just like a android or ios ios like what we do is android is having um, they release their own versions of uh, upgrade okay every uh, like uh, year and that in time so they will have new features into that maybe new screens new uh, uh, features all of these things so sap is doing the same way so th these versions refer to the same thing so uh, every time something new comes into the market uh, so you have to learn it it is not a major diff like major things they are changing now but they are uh, uh, changing it so you have to learn it and if you know it you have a good market okay then sap as a career okay so who can learn sap now so any anyone who has done uh, bachelor's or engineering or master's degree in any of the uh, field so people from like uh, sales uh, maybe people are working in sales maybe in pharmaceutical uh, uh, like uh, they are working as mr uh, all of these guys can come into sap and, uh, and they can learn sap they can get into the software companies manufacture companies everywhere uh, for sap then uh, there is like uh, the people who are having uh, the domain experience okay it is not only for domain but uh, uh, like they have the process knowledge and they have some time worked as a end user okay so one thing i have not mentioned here is uh, okay it is mentioned bachelors and masters means freshers so anyone who don't know to code okay suppose you don't know to code no problem because functionals don't need to code okay so you can come into this uh, then uh, type uh, of work like what basically okay i will learn sap and all of these things but what i will do okay so uh, suppose i will take a example of a implementation okay which is the major thing what we do in sap so there is a company who is not having sap they have some different software or they don't have software and now they want to implement sap so at that time what uh, what we have to do uh, like our company or someone from our company will approach to that company and they will give the demo like this is sap on all of these things and you should go for this all of uh, the way uh, then uh, they will come up they will select us as a vendor uh, then we will be uh, our company will hire a team or uh, gather a team of uh, each module there will be one person two person or n number of people like it depends on how big is the implementation what is the landscape so once uh, we go and then we go and interact uh, with our uh, business businesses our customer and we try to understand what is their requirement 
okay so we will understand okay you are doing procurement what type of procurements you are doing then uh, how you are handling your finances what is your sales are you exporting uh, outside uh, then which countries what are the taxation and all of these things we will uh, understand that uh, so this is a very basic level what i am telling you we have to go inside we have to uh, we are already having understanding of sap uh, so we will be asking them a few questions from our side so that we will get a Uh, understanding that how we will uh, configure this in sap okay this is one part then uh, there will be a uh, like there will be some process which uh, sap is not having as a standard in practice in sap or <clears throat> uh, companies are uh, following some process which is not a standard practice so we have to get that practice into sap so we need to develop it we need technical consultant for that functional and technical so that part also we have to give the solutions if something is not there in sap we have to give the solutions and then we have to build it in sap then once this is done what we do is we show to customer okay this this is something what we have done for you configured for you and you have to use it this way then we have to train all of their users or one of the guy from there and uh, then we actually go live with the customer so now this i'm giving a very uh, i'm giving a very short way uh, explaining in a very short way uh, but when you will go with my videos or my course okay which i personally give uh, so you will we will understand it in a very uh, better way okay so <clears throat> that's it for the you, you must have got the idea so yeah this is for implementation then we also have for uh, uh, support like there are uh, companies who already have sap so uh, we will be supporting that companies they will be having daily issues uh, and then they need some new developments maybe reports and all of these things so we help uh, or we work on that okay that is support then uh, who uh, is hiring uh, for sap consultants so it companies basically any it company you can take it as tcs tech mahindra and then wipro and all of these companies okay all of big companies also small companies with maybe 200 300 uh, strength so they are hiring so you have uh, like market is having a good requirement for sap consultants and it is a very stable uh, career i would say and uh, you can grow with uh, learning new modules one after one and it it will give you a good pay then uh, manufacturing companies manufacturing is uh, many of the companies have their own it teams inside the company <clears throat> because it's a big company suppose tata is there or uh, volkswagen is there any of the companies so they have their or i own it teams so uh, they will hire like this companies manufacturing companies will hire you and they will uh, then you have to support or uh, they are, they have uh, businesses in other countries uh, where they don't have sap you have to implement sap and uh, this way then again uh, if suppose uh, there is uh, like you are searching and at that time you will also find that there will be a end user requirement so they will ask you to come usually con- they will not ask consultants to be a end user but uh, end user is also one of the thing like if you are working in a manufacturing company and you don't know sap you maybe have uh, 20000 or 30000 uh, salary and when you learn sap and you try to change uh, your uh, uh, company you try to switch so surely if they are uh, if in if you don't know sap and you have 20000 salary while switching they will give you 30 or 35 but if you have sap knowledge they will give you 40 okay this will be the difference there will be, there will be a difference if you have sap knowledge and then in sap you, uh, the, there is a uh, option i would say you have to all uh, you can go for uh, sap global certification which is provided by sap so this certification al- actually helps like big companies uh, will ask for certification okay so if you have certification there are more chances of uh, getting hired 
so okay salary now this is the most important thing for which we learn for which we choose our career okay so um, salaries are like for freshers uh, uh, it it will be 2 to 5 lakh okay near about that it can vary it's just a uh, uh, like whatever is going in market i'm just telling you that so for 3 to 5 to for freshers 3 to 5 lakh for 3 to 5 years they will pay you around 5 to 12 lakhs now market has boomed a lot so you are getting uh, so much of salary so and uh, from 5 to 10 years you have 10 to 30 lakhs 30 lakh is a higher bracket higher side then a uh, 10 plus years and if you know multiple modules uh, if uh, then you have 20 plus uh, salary uh 20 plus is 20 30 like i've seen people getting 40 to 45 lakhs per annum also so uh these are the things and uh, yeah i think uh, you have got a good picture and uh, it this will help you to uh maybe do more research maybe choose your uh career in sap okay so anything you want apart from this so you can comment uh, on my youtube channel so that i can go through it and i will respond you then the other things you can mail me you can connect me on linkedin and uh, we can have a chat or if you need some guidance i can help you over uh, that okay and the most important thing is uh, you subscribe it is not for me because Uh, uh this is just something i want to do for uh, anyone who want to learn okay so i will be having all of the, there are all sap videos okay i will be giving more videos for uh, like the business process domain side uh, upcoming videos will be that and uh, also with sap fury and all of these things also if you want a personal training you can connect me um, anywhere uh, you have mail and anything okay so um, okay good so uh, if possible can you please quickly overview module okay fico is uh, uh, the per, like fi is finance fi fico is a good module you have a good salary because if i guys uh, whenever people are looking in market like companies are looking in market they want a good domain experience or they want uh, the people who are coming from the finance background at least as uh, as a like uh, maybe bcom mcom or uh, uh, from uh, ca or who the people who have finance knowledge experience is always added thing uh, to get hired okay then uh, do we have to take the costly courses to get a job or we can grab a job on our own i i also learn many things okay so i what i've understood is it is bet- better if you get a course i would not say costly but if you uh, you get a course so that you have guidance and um, uh, if you when you go with yourself what you will do you will just go on youtube and you will uh, try to understand okay how to create a purchase order but you don't know why it is created what are the scenarios into it what are the business process like po is created for multiple business process so this maybe you will not know till the time you don't get into uh, the job um but then getting a job will be difficult okay this is the thing so better you get uh, a course not costly because and yeah i've seen institutes outside uh, they promise you job and everything but uh, the real fact is no one can promise you job in any of the, not only sab in any of the field because market is volatile uh and uh, for freshers it is it is difficult in any of the stream not only in sap it is difficult so you have to uh, uh have your own strategy certification is added advantage 
yes you can get a full mm course okay you can connect me on my email or linkedin uh, yes uh, on channel also you have it no problem uh, channel will give you all uh, like all of the things like how to create purchase order how to create purchase requisition this is the end user part and also the configurations we have all configurations on our channel okay so you, you can go through that yes uh, you can get full mm codes uh, okay okay uh, what is package implementation consultant in sap can you please tell okay i think uh, i've explained you that uh, can i get mm uh, qm quality management sure you can connect with me i have my uh, sources uh, i can give you the best guy i would say someone uh, who is uh, already uh, doing a job okay he can give you the best knowledge because he will give you something which is going with the market like whatever new things are into uh, are there in sap you can understand that from him he will give you like uh, in like what are the salaries uh, the latest things whatever is going into the market he will help you with that so yeah you can uh, go for that uh, i think uh, the questions whatever i can see are done now so okay thank you and uh, yeah surely subscribe the channel so that you get the latest update every i'm planning for every weekend let's see uh, how does that work which module is the best for mechanical engineer okay mechanical engineer if you have experience in manufacturing so you can go for pp um, uh, like mechanical engineer can work in multiple places he can be he can work in uh, means he if you have experience in procurement manufacturing quality uh then plant maintenance uh then project systems uh so any of the module you can work maybe